Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm back on the show floor here at Snowflake Summit, and I am delighted to be joined by Sunil Sanan, Global Head of Data, Analytics, and AI at Infosys. Sunil, such a pleasure to have you back on the show today. Thank you so much, Ryan, to uh, you know, bring me onto your show. Again, such a pleasure being here, talking to you. 2024 has been the year of AI. From a leadership standpoint, what are the top priorities and potential pitfalls to navigate as we leverage AI to drive transformative change across organizations, Sunil? That's a great question, uh, Ryan. Uh, we know 2023 as the year of consumer AI, when ChatGPT and the other models enter the market. We saw how consumers, in a democratized fashion, started to use it. What we've seen in 2024 is the enterprises jumping in and trying to make sense of what AI and generative AI opportunities exist for their businesses. However, in terms of the priorities and trends, we are guiding our customers to focus on three large uh, areas, which are the priorities for any success around AI and generative AI. The first is around what we call as strategy and governance. It's for the enterprises to really figure out how you're going to create needle-moving impact on your top line, on your bottom line, on your ability to risk, you know, manage risk and compliance around your business. Right. The second area, which is a top focus for many of our clients, is how do you get data ready for AI? When you're doing experimentation, you probably don't feel it, but when you start to make scaled implementations of AI and generative AI, if your data is not ready, you're not going to be able to actually deliver AI and the AI results. And the third is the world of AI and generative AI will be driven with experimentation. But you need to figure out a way to be able to take some of those experimentation to scale as well. So this is like a dichotomy where you want to run with speed and you want to run with scale. It's the idea of how you create innovation at speed using experimentation zones and have enough processes that are cutting out of that and taking you to innovation at scale. So these three are the top building blocks and the priorities around AI and generative AI, which is working very well for many of our customers. Thank you for that perspective, Sunil. Now, let's talk about how Infosys is driving AI-led transformation for your teams. You enable your clients to amplify human potential and create the next opportunity for people, businesses, and communities. How do you approach it from a business transformation perspective, and how does this AI data cloud help make this a reality? Once we set the foundation, the ultimate value is created when you start to transform your business. And that's where the business transformation approach, the way we have thought about it at Infosys and we have guided our customers is anchored in. We use the three canvas approach so that we can very clearly articulate what are the opportunities, AI-led opportunities that our customers will go after. Our uh, approach to business transformation is to lay the business opportunities across these three canvases and then drive the transformation using micro transformations and micro change management. I love to hear the three canvas approach. So, you know, Infosys dates back over 40 years, and during that time, you have formed impeccable partnerships with your customers. How does this data strategy ever evolving for your clients and access to industries to ensure their data is AI ready and at the end result, fuels innovation throughout this upcoming decade? Getting enterprise data ready for AI is one of the most foundational building blocks for any AI and generative AI journey. Many of us have invested in data management systems, data governance systems over the years. It's not new. We have done it for multiple decades now. But the data that we were dealing with is only 20% of world's data now. 80% of world's data is ungoverned. The AI and generative AI is going to use this 80% ungoverned data. That's right? what's so exciting about this. That, that is what is exciting, and that is where the value creation is coming from. But it also poses a challenge. So the first approach, in getting enterprise data ready for AI is what we call as fingerprinting. So you fingerprint the data, which is in this 80% pool, that you will consume for your AI and generative AI transformation. And do this in a way which is autonomous. Human workforce cannot keep up with the pace with which the data is growing, which means you need an autonomous system to be able to do it. And that's where Infosys has invested in what we call as smart data fingerprinting. That fingerprints, it gives you basically a 4K vision of what's in the data. How do you foster a company culture that prioritizes responsible AI development and implementation at all level of the organizations? Because to your earlier point, it really needs to be a top-down approach. Like I was saying, the, the foundation is value creation and protecting you know, our stakeholders from the possible downside, which actually includes protecting our brands. From the step one, you start thinking about what data am I handling? 
what is being you know done in my AI and generative AI processes and models, and how do I take care of the possible issues around biases, around ethics, around IP protection, uh, safety of individuals, right? So we categorize this across five pillars: trust, ethics, privacy, security, and compliance. We talk a lot about how AI will displace people. AI is being built for people, and you've got to build that trust, right? And it's a new transformation that's going to happen. But to be able to do this, uh, you know, as a responsible by design, one needs to think about what are the foundational layers. So, Neil, really appreciate that perspective, and it's always a pleasure to have you on Data Cloud now, and it's great to be back here at Snowflake Summit. I have to ask, what's next for Infosys? And are there any key pieces of advice that you'd like to share with the audience with regards to ensuring that they are effectively measuring and maximizing their true business impact of their AI projects? AI yeah, and generative AI transformation is all about outcomes that you can get. By doing a pool of experimentations, you're not going to be able to create needle-moving impact on your P&L. And to do so, one needs to very clearly understand how you're going to measure, target, measure, and capture the value. AI generative AI, however, is different. Where you want to stay put with the implementation and see how the adoption is taking place. How is it creating value in your business? If it's an efficiency thing, you need to be able to measure and see what efficiencies were able, you know, you were able to create. Did it meet your business case? Did it not meet your business case? Feed that back into how the AI models need to be retrained, reinforcement learning, or change your strategy with respect Constantly to Constantly adjusting in real time. Right, and it's not just about how models are performing. Oftentimes, people mistake this space to saying, I need to understand how a model is performing. The biggest gap, in our view, lies in adoption. The trust deficit that exists, because I am somebody who has run this operation for the last 25 years, if my tribal knowledge is telling me something else, the model is telling me something else, that gap, the trust deficit, is what is keeping me from utilizing that adoption. We recommend our customers to implement AI value office, which is going to take the ownership of overseeing the value creation by all AI initiatives, and take the learnings and the best practices from each to be able to not only feed that to strategy, but also make interventions in each of these initiatives to be able to maximize the outcome. And we have seen that such investments can give disproportionate returns to our customers, where AI initiatives are then guided to getting the outcomes that they are looking for and set the foundation for your next big transformation leap. From Sunil, there. such a pleasure. I'm excited to see what's next for Infosys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Ryan. It was a great conversation, always talking to you. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.